Hi, welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are taking a look at your August 2021 soulmate love reading for those of you who are interested and open and receptive to new love as well as giving new love. Um, for those of you who are more significantly looking for a long-term relationship, like I said, when it comes to new love, this is going to be a brand new individual who you've never encountered in this lifetime. For some of you, this is someone who you may have most more recently come into contact with. So it could be a fresh contact with this individual or it could be someone where we're picking up on the energies of someone who will be soon coming into your life. Um, before we get into the actual cards looking at the tarot reading we're going to do some pre-messages and i want to invite you to book a private session with me if you haven't yet you can go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com where you can find all the information you need in regards to the services that i offer and if you don't see what you are looking for feel free to fill out the book now um, form and just enter in your questions that you have into the comment section and we can see what we can do for you okay all right so getting into your pre-messages um i have messages pertaining to some of you there could be challenges that you all have um experienced when it comes to like your home life um especially like maybe when you were growing up okay so there could be some type of um like challenges or conflicts that you've had since you were a child this could be for some of you specifically related to like your mom for others of you it could just be like the people who you grew up um in a household with for some of you even others of you it could be like maybe like people who were like in your community that you grew up with maybe had challenges with those individuals but i'm definitely seeing some type of um conflict for some of you that you did have to deal with for some of you this could still be like maybe like a wound or like some type of um emotional burden or baggage that you still may carry with you or you still may deal with now um also the message i was getting is that there is an energy of like a secret admirer okay so for some of you this pertains to a situation where it is a like individual who you grew up with who's always had feelings for you and um i feel this person never divulged their true feelings to you they always kept them just hidden secret and private but they always just kind of like pined after you now for some of you um i was hearing personality a so this could be maybe a reason why this individual never told you all how they felt for that reason for others of you um there could have been other like lessons um that this person was dealing with or just life factors that were a little bit challenging difficult or harsh that prevented this individual from sharing their um, true feelings with you at the time others of you um there's the secret admirer could be someone who um is like an associate of yours or they could potentially like view you as a friend but this may not be someone who you actually know this could be someone who is in a group a club or some type of organization that you are in or you're in some type of similar like social group or social circle or you share some type of similar type of um association like that you're in with this individual that they would know you or know of you put it like that but you know they could have the same reasons why they never came towards you and let you know for some of them it's due to them having pers a type a personality for others it's a situation where they were dealing with um situations that were harsh or difficult or challenging that you know prevented them from being able to let you know how they felt about you at the time i do feel for some of you um these individuals will be making it known to you how they feel because for some of you they're just like over holding their tongue okay regardless if they're still dealing with certain circumstances or not that are have been challenging and preventing them from coming forward some of them they're just going to let you know how they feel because it's like become overwhelming to like keep their feelings suppressed for this long and then um the other situation would be like now things have changed and resolved and now 
they are able to freely tell you how they feel now because circumstances have changed for the better okay which would allow them to do that i'm also picking up an energy where um upon coming into contact with this individual whether it's a childhood friend or someone you knew growing up growing up um or a secret admirer who is just someone who knows of you um i feel like there is going to be a very strong and powerful connection um very intense as well too for some of you because um i feel that some of you there are a lot of things that you feel that you don't get to just talk about with any and everyone and i feel this would be the type of person who you would come into contact with where you and this person would have this similar you know topic or topics to talk about um and feel very comfortable with each other or just have a, a, a understanding of where the other is coming from so whether it's similar things that you actually share the same like i said interest or perception on or it's just a sense of finally coming into contact with someone who's actually going to like get you like they're they're going to be receptive and get you even if they don't even know of like let's say it's a, it's a particular topic that you have interest in it's like this person is just going to get you though they're not going to it'll, it'll be someone where it's easy for you to express this to them even if it's like i said even if you don't share the same specific interest of this topic someone this individual is going to be interested in it because they have an interest in you and it would just be something that would be interesting to them to learn of right or it's going to be a situation where the two of you both kind of had the same interest but you never like had any people who you've come into contact with that you could really like talk about these things too but now you found someone who you have this deep connection you can talk about like these different intimate things that you never get to share with other people for some of you i'm definitely getting a very strong like past life soulmate like i said when it comes to past life soulmates it, it really pertains to your own like ability to perceive that type of concept all right for me i definitely believe in past life soulmates and things of that nature and past life experiences um and i feel like if you don't believe in that well then it's definitely just going to be someone who you just feel a very strong soulmate um connection with right um it's going to be very intense very powerful uh, for me it just makes sense that when you have that type of sensation with someone you most likely have known this person in a different you know in a, in a different lifetime um you know your soul just resonates with this individual it's not by coincidence but like i said it's depends on your ability to you know conceive or perceive whatever you choose to and that's on you um la, 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 la. that's all the messages so let's go ahead and get into the reading darlings all right so when it comes to your head space uh, we have for person a the two of wands for person b we have the eight of cups so for those of you resonating with the left side that's person a those of you resonating with the right side that's person b so um, for the two of wands energy over here we have an energy of some of you who are very um, I'm, I'm getting like very convinced that you're moving forward and making the right decision there could have been maybe some difficulties with choosing which direction to go in the past um, for some of you it was due to other circumstances people and things going on that prevented you from you know moving forward like for some of you 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 had an an idea or you had the notion the concept in your mind of what you wanted to do it was just other factors preventing you from moving forward with taking the initiative in it and i see for some of you in that circumstance the situation the way is clear and now you're able to move forward and when it comes to love and romance so this is either you know specifically just being open and receptive to moving into that new energy of love or it's moving into a new energy with a designated 
individual who you have your eyes and your heart set on okay um, I'm definitely seeing an energy as well too of just being very confident on who you've who or what you've had to release and let go of as well too because I do feel like that was a factor where some of you were either still trying to hold on to some other type of lifestyle some of you it could have been like wanting to still hold on to this notion of being single not wanting to settle down being not committal being a player for others of you there was still someone who you were just still trying to give your time and energy to where it was like almost like some of you were still kind of holding on to some sense of hope between you and this individual maybe working out or moving forward or it's just a dynamic of you going back and forth so much um like with this individual that you know it was almost kind of um like a situation where you kind of had to just break that pattern you know break break that habit of doing this makeup breakup type of energy and now you finally like have released that individual so you could move forward with your love life now for um the eight of cups energy over here for person b i feel for this group of you all um this is a sense of also needing needing but choosing to walk away from past experiences um past hurt feelings um past old baggage i'm definitely picking up that mother wound energy that we were picking up in the pre messages where for some of you you know th there's definitely emotional hurt um that some of you have experienced uh, due to the fact that either you know you never had a close relationship with your mother you never knew your mother or your mother passed away um so for some of you th that definitely could be an energy of what has kept you like suppressing your feelings and um not able to fully like invest in previous relationships um, others of you I definitely see as well too that some of you would have just like been collecting um, past pain past emotional pain and carrying this from relationship to relationship so some of you have just been doing this an ongoing situation where you would move to the next relationship but you're collecting the hurt from the previous one and then you're piling that on and putting that in this in the next relationship and so on and so forth and never fully just releasing letting it go moving forward others of you this is just one particular relationship that definitely took a major toll on you and um now i just see you finally you know mustering the emotional strength to finally just move forward because when it's all said and done regardless of whichever of those situations apply to you if it's one or some or all of those it's a situation where you're feeling like you know there has to be something better than what you have been experiencing than what you have been holding on to um and i feel like there's more of a sense of hope even if you don't know what that is or you can't necessarily see it at the moment but you feel like anything has to be better be than where you currently are so i feel like as well this is like a new shift in your perspective with how you have been emotionally handling love previously okay and moving allowing yourself to move on and move forward okay now next when it comes to how you are viewing each other for those of you on the side of person a we have you're viewing your person with the queen of swords energy so for some of you you're viewing this person as being maybe a little bit cold serious no nonsense um aloof detached but i'm just really seeing that you get it very clearly that this person is not with the bullshit so i feel like a lot of you know you need to come towards this person with serious intentions because this person is not someone to play games with um in the sense that they would be able to spot like people who are fake disgenuine and um who are just trying to waste time and i feel like for some of you um you pick that up about this person and um that could also be why some of you were in that headspace of like kind of giving yourself a pep talk like this is the right decision you're going to move forward with it you're confident that you can do it because for some of you it could it can be a little bit intimidating for you to think about approaching this individual because the queen of swords energy is not someone who 
wears their heart on their sleeve so you may not necessarily know how this person is going to react uh, maybe for some of you you know you're more used to having uh, i'm getting like the upper hand in a situation and maybe with this individual like you don't really know how this is going to go because this person is not they don't wear their heart on their sleeves i don't feel this person is unemotional um i just feel that this person is just a person who's very um serious and they're not going to waste their time giving their energy or their emotions or their feelings or getting invested in people who are just coming into their life to waste time or play games so i feel like you sense this about this individual and you know that you have to just come with your a game you know you just gotta come with intention like the right intention towards this person and i and i feel that like you all know this now for those of you um on person's IB, how you're viewing your love interest um, or this new person coming towards you we have the seven of wands so how you all are viewing this individual is someone who um, this person has like a, a energy where they try to establish boundaries for themselves as well too um, I feel like however this person may be very well known as what you're seeing them they could be very well um, sought after highly desired um, a lot of their time attention can be required like it, it could always be people trying to like get their attention or pull them in certain type of directions or need them for to approve certain things because I'm seeing a lot of people surrounding this individual is how you're seeing them you're always seeing like a lot of people want this person's attention they're always around them they're always asking of this person this person all kind of almost seems like they have to please a lot of people or they have to um not necessarily answer to a lot of people but they have to like satisfy a lot of people in a certain type of way so for some of you i was getting the energy of like someone where people are like touching this person um so for some of you like i said yeah this could be someone who has a public status in a sense because i'm getting touching so if, if people are wanting to touch this person like hug or shake this person's hands or take pictures with this person this definitely could be someone who's well known for some of you for others of you like i said this could be someone where in in their family dynamic this person could be like like um someone who is like the favorite family member so a lot of people always want to be surrounded by this person they always want this person around because this person has some type of you know good zhuzh good energy um or they're just like the responsible one where they always are in high demand essentially um or this could be someone who has a significant position in their career field or at work and they could always be um required of because i was also hearing on call so they may also have to take like a lot of um like business calls like like they don't have a set schedule like they don't necessarily have like set office hours put it like that so this may not be a person who works like a nine to five is how you're seeing this individual because they may always like be on call or on demand during like non-traditional business hours okay now as far as what is blocking the two of you for those of you on the person A side, we have the Five of Swords. And those of you on the person B side, we have the Sun. So I feel like what's blocking you all with the Five of Swords is a lot of you are having to like step into new energy and embrace that um, if you want whoever this person is that is coming towards you or that you've newly met, like you're going to have to... Um, change your ways now for some of you this definitely could be player energy because i was picking that up initially some of you definitely could be former players you know what i'm saying or you know really used to like getting your way or used to um just maintaining a lot of people at one time okay and i feel like for some of you that's going to be your blockage or your challenge in this situation like you're really going to need to um walk away from that type of lifestyle in order to be with this individual so you're you know you're really needing to make sure that that's something that's out of your system or that's that's something that you're willing to do um because i just feel like in order to be with this individual they're not going to tolerate that i mean i'm just 
pure point blank they're not going to tolerate that and they will be quick to cut you off quick fast in a hurry um this could even be the type of person where i'm hearing no call no show this person will not even they're not going to give you like a reason why they cut you off they will just cut you off like if they just see you on some bullshit or they see smell hear you know that that you're on some like childish manipulative mind games or you're trying to be d devious or deceptive or some shit like that they're just going to cut you off like they're not going to even give you a warning they're not going to tell you they're not going to talk to you afterwards it's just they just going to peer point blank cut you off and keep it moving you know what i'm saying um so that's that there's something you need to you know decide and be 100 percent sure um that you're willing to do that you know what i'm saying because if, if you want to be with this particular person okay um as far as those of you on person b side we have the sun card here i feel like for those of you on person b side i just feel like you know you're just needing to just maintain a sense of I'm hearing hopelessness so you need to maintain a sense of optimism um because i know for a lot of you you're you're moving forward i feel there's a um there, there, there's sad energy around those of you on this side and i just feel like you need to be um optimistic um i feel like what you have been doing has not been in vain and you just need to you just need to know and be reminded of that like continue to have faith um that you're moving forward in the right direction or that you will eventually you know meet your the person that you've always been desiring to meet i feel like you're moving towards that individual i feel like you're you you're closer than you were before put it like that um i can't tell you how close you are but <laughs> or how soon it's gonna happen but you're closer than you were before and yes you've had to come overcome a lot of um things in the past but i feel like as well too um i'm definitely getting cancerian energy on this side so those of you with this resonating with this side you you could be a cancer or you could have significant placements of cancer in your birth chart um you just need to stay hopeful um and not be pessimistic and cling to the past bringing that old stuff into the new relationship because i just feel like there's a need for you to just it's like you have to trust in the unknown even if you can't see it and i know that can be scary especially if you do have like cancer and energy but especially just in general like when you've had a lot of um letdowns is what i'm seeing for you all especially like when it stems all the way back to like your family for some of you or or like things that happened to you when you were growing up like in your neighborhood or even um issues that you've had with like your mom you know what i'm saying and i feel like there's a need for you to just try to find some sense of um seeing the silver lining in the situation and just knowing that you're moving towards like happier times you're moving towards better times you're you're moving away from your hurt you know what i'm saying and that's for the best like it's better to walk away from that than to continue to wallow in it because then you're not going to have the opportunity to see what lies ahead of you and be you know come into contact with who you're meant to come into contact with so it's it's almost like there's a bittersweet energy on the side for those of you because it's like you've become so used to being in this sadness or this hurt type of energy and it's almost like it's it's almost like that saying where they say the the devil you know you know what i'm saying so i, I feel like for some of you it's just like you you kind of became very um you found you you learned to find comfort in that energy even though it wasn't healthy energy for you and it almost kind of makes you fearful because it's like you don't know this other energy that you're moving towards you know what i'm saying and, and it makes you fearful and it kind of triggers you and and brings up your emotional woundings but i feel like this is for you to address so the sun card is also here is to let you know that it's for you to 
to see those things and continue to heal those and continue to move forward like you are moving in the right direction because at least now you're aware of the things that maybe you were not necessarily aware of before like I said for some of you there was an energy of you just kind of being complacent and sitting in essentially like muddled water like you became so used to let's say bathing in it or drinking it that you didn't realize like that's not healthy for you you know and so now you have the opportunity to get like clean fresh pure water or you get the opportunity to cleanse clear and heal yourself and move away from this and I feel like you are doing that you know by you moving forward you're taking a step in the right direction and you just need to trust no one believe that with the sun card like you're moving into a situation that's going to pro provide you more happiness better times and um i feel like it's not in vain like you're not going to regret your decision to move forward even though you you can't see everything as it's unfolding as of right now you just kind of have to trust and know that moving forward is in your best interest okay now as far as the action that the two of you are wanting to take towards each other those of you on person a side we have the princess of pentacles and those of you on person b side we have the temperance energy i feel like those of you on the princess of pentacles energy um i do feel like it's going to it's like the small steps are going to count right um with the princess of pentacles it's a small gesture it's a small token but it's a small step forward um in the right direction to planting new seeds and it's like for those of you where you're you're, you're learning new ways or you're coming out of self-sabotaging energy whether you are a player or not or whether it's just finally you know you walking away from someone where you were doing this like back and forth um you know going back and forth in a connection that you knew wasn't meaningful for you or for those of you where you're finally just like i said moving out of the energy of being non-committal i feel like on um, the action you're wanting to take even though you know it is small with the princess of pentacles it's still a grand gesture because the fact that you know you're breaking a habit yourself and you're making the initiative towards moving towards a very solid and committed relationship here with the princess of pentacles and and that's a good sign to show that you at least want to there's some serious intention here even though it is small so this could be you know just starting out getting to know each other getting acquainted with each other but i feel on your part there's a very serious intent even though you're you know baby stepping it but you're you're planting good seeds in the right direction um however your thing is going to be are you going to keep this up and be consistent with it so you're you're taking the right initiative to start but moving forward you know you you'll be able to see if it's something that you want to continue to water and sow um and i feel like that's a good a good step for you you know on this side to take things slow because maybe in the past you moved too fast so i i see some of you taking the initiative but taking like smaller steps and maybe just taking your time to really get acquainted and get to know someone first before like moving way too fast in certain situations or certain circumstances um in a relationship and it also may be because the type of person who you're interested in as well too like they may not necessarily be a fast moving person anyway so you're not gonna necessarily really have much of a choice like you you can't move faster than someone is willing to allow you to move or open to you be to be open to you to move towards them in a manner as such right so it's kind of allowing you as well too to take your time and get to know someone and i'm getting like dating like so i don't know maybe some of you just never dated before like really intentionally dated someone uh, with the hopes of you know taking things to the next level um so i feel like you're planting seeds in the right direction with you 
being more deliberate and intentional with getting to know this individual and i feel like that's a nice place to start this for those of you on person side b with the temperance energy i'm seeing you take your time as well too over here um the temperance energy is an energy of patience um it's the energy of you may um realize that you have to exude a little bit more tolerance to the person who's coming towards you and um i feel like your nature is just naturally compassionate anyways you have a very grounding very healing nature so i feel like um I just feel like you're taking your time. I see both of you just essentially just taking your time towards each other and really allowing yourselves to take your time to get to know each other in a manner that's going to be helpful for both of you. And I feel like it's really going to, I feel like if the both of y'all have, um, trust issues it's going to really help y'all to establish a nice firm foundation with each other because you're not rushing into this relationship and then you'll be able to see like how sincere and genuine each of you really are by taking your time is what i'm seeing and i feel like those of you on person b side it's just that your energy and your nature is going to really be so soothing and so healing that I feel like it's it's exactly what person A needs because of the different type of transition that they're making towards coming towards you and wanting to actually be in a serious relationship. And I say serious because even even if I'm getting the fact like even if some of y'all have actually been in relationships before like even if y'all was married or at long-term relationship like there is still an energy of like some of y'all have having been non-committal like not not being really serious in a, a relationship some of y'all haven't had those titles but others of y'all have had significant titles and you still were not like serious in the relationship so i just feel like this is going to be an upgrade for both of y'all but in different ways is what i'm seeing okay and i just really feel like person b you're going to be like a positive catalyst in the energy of person a in this situation because of your natural ability to just be so calm to be so tolerant to be so compassionate and you're just very like down to earth and chill and calm cool and collected and i feel like it's exactly what um person a needs because i don't think they've ever met a person like you before and then i just feel like person a um the fact that you're even trying is going to be means so much to person b because they're going to really see that you're putting in an effort you know what i'm saying especially your especially because of your past like once the two of you like divulge and really get into you know having those heart-to-heart -heart conversations i feel like person b is going to really respect you for your effort and your attempts okay now, as far as the outcome, we have the judgment card. And I feel this is real dope right here because I feel like, I feel like for some of y'all, both of y'all going into, or yeah, for some of you all, when both of you come into contact with each other, I feel like you already have some type of preconceived notions about each other. But I feel like the more y'all talk, the more y'all go out the more y'all hang with each other y'all gonna realize that you have so much in common and it's gonna allow you to to like really feel at ease and really let your guards down with each other but i definitely see both of y'all coming in with um some type of guarded energy naturally that y'all have and like a certain level of like privacy and boundaries that y'all have for different reasons 
and y'all implement them in different ways but I definitely see some type of preconceived notions that y'all have about each other and this could be very well because y'all have two significantly like different um lifestyles is what I'm getting like y'all backgrounds might be similar like going back to like maybe y'all roots but currently y'all lifestyles are significantly different in some manner and I definitely feel like you know it's just gonna be a a sense of the two of you once y'all start spending more time with each other and really making an effort to have quality time and have quality conversations y'all gonna really realize that deep like deep 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 down y'all actually got a lot in common like a lot lot. and y'all gonna see like dang like y'all judged each other or you either you judged each other or y'all had some preconceived notions about each other because of whatever it is about certain different like factors of y'all lifestyle and y'all gonna be like y'all gonna realize that y'all are very similar very similar you have a lot of similarities at the core that's the thing and then overall what i'm seeing with the judgment energy let me clarify i feel like at the core <laughs> For all of y'all I just feel like other people are gonna judge y'all and that's the interesting thing because y'all are different I'm picking that energy up there is something different about y'all very different and so I just feel like it's gonna be other people judging y'all um is what I'm seeing like so that's that's what you're gonna have to deal with the fact outside people's opinions so y'all gonna have to um you know just deal with that amongst the two of you and handle it in a way that it's going to work for the for y'all so y'all can maintain a solid firm foundation and connection but i definitely just see other people having some type of um opinion it's crazy let me clarify okay let me see so we got the eight of pentacles here yeah i think people are just trying to figure out how does y'all how do y'all work like how is it gonna work if y'all newly coming together or like how does how does that work like how does the connection work so some of y'all could have people like doubting that the two of y'all are going to work out together yeah interesting and that's what I'm just getting I just feel like it's more so going to be like outside people yeah <laughs> It's gonna be outside people like putting their two cents and opinions in. This could be it's all types of people. I'm seeing family members. I'm just seeing people who just looking at y'all who don't know y'all. Uh, I'm seeing um exes who are salty. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because at the beginning, middle, end of the day, I'm just seeing that the relationship for the two of y'all because of the actions that y'all taking. This is essentially like a redemption for both of y'all in some type of way. So whatever the two of you have been through, whatever y you have experienced, I feel like the judgment is saying it doesn't really matter what other people have to say. It don't matter what y'all think, you know, because of your lifestyle differences is this is going to work actually it actually works and this is judgment you know essentially like some type of reconciliation and redemption here for both of y'all for the work that you have put in so it's like you know the work that you've done individually when the two of you come together you're going to be able to you know share that information with each other and then you're going to see all the work that you have done 
to come towards each other that have led y'all to each other and I'm just seeing that this is going to it is going to work so this is essentially redemption so the efforts that you put in and the action that you take towards each other is very significant because it's going to bring you to the the it's going to bring you to the redemption that you have desired. So whatever your goal was, you know, upon meeting each other or leaving those past relationships or everything that you have been dealing with, I feel like this connection is a connection of redemption for the two of you. For everything, for all the effort, for all the hard work that you've put in previously, okay? So it's going to work. It doesn't matter what other people have to say. It doesn't matter what the two of y'all think or how y'all look or your different lifestyles or whatever it is that, you know, makes the two of you like question whatever. Um, I just feel like it's going to work and this is redemption for you all. So that's all that matters, right? So those are all the messages I have for you. If you would like to book a personal session with me uh, once again, you can go to my website, www.divinelotustarot.com.